Before handling your contact lenses, it is important that you wash your hands thoroughly with mild soap and warm water, and make sure that your hands are completely dry. This will be a huge help when you are inserting the contact, and it will give you a better hold or grip on the eyelid. Also be sure to inspect your eye, and make sure there's no irritation, redness, or pain, and that your eyes are healthy before applying your contacts. If you're experiencing any blurred vision or discomfort while your contacts are on or off, do not apply them and call your doctor. Here are the items you will need. A contact lens case, saline solution as prescribed by your doctor, DMV inserters, sometimes referred to as plungers, are used by scleral lens patients who have a hard time inserting and or removing the contacts with their finger. And a bottle with a flat cap, which will allow you to make an indent on your finger to better hold the lens. There are different holds or grips you can use to hold your eye open while inserting the contact. It is important to always use the pinky and index finger, but you can choose which hand you would like to use. This preference is different for everyone, so just use the hand that is the most comfortable for you. Make sure to always start on the same side and put your lenses away accordingly as they may have different prescriptions for each eyelid. Also, be sure to inspect the lens for damages, scratches, or chips each time you take them out or put them away. It will be helpful to make sure that you cut off a little bit of the end of inserter to create a hole that will let light shine through and act as a guide while inserting or removing your contacts. Once you are ready, place the lens on top of the inserter and fill the bowl with saline solution. If possible, it's nice to use a sticker or to draw an X on a piece of paper or tissue below you to give you something to focus on while you are inserting the contact. To keep the saline from falling out of the contact, make sure to not lift the inserter to the eye until your head is parallel with the floor. You can go ahead and get a good grip on your eyelid and bring your head down while focusing on your focal point. Again, fill the bowl completely with your saline solution and do not lift the inserter until you are ready. Grip your eyelid first and make sure you have a steady hold. And then bring your head down to the inserter while looking at your focal point. Just like before, place the lens on the center of the eye and give the plunger a slight push to release the contact lens. At this view, you can see that Elisa is gently placing the contact at the center of the eye while holding her eyelids open and looking at her focal point. Next is our single finger method. You can use the top of a bottle cap to give your finger a small indent for the lens to sit in. Once balanced, fill the contact with saline solution as prescribed by your doctor. Make sure the bowl of the lens is completely full to avoid any air bubbles. Using your preferred grip, lower your head to be parallel with the floor. It's easiest if both eyelids are open wide enough to apply the contact directly to the surface of the eye. Again at this view, you can see that Elisa is putting the contact on the center of the eye while keeping her eyes fully open. Next is our tripod finger method, which is similar to the previous method, but gives some patients a better grip on the contact lens. Fill the bowl with saline and use your preferred grip to open the eye. Lower the head to be parallel with the floor and gently insert the lens, aiming for the middle of the eye, just below the pupil. At Village Eye Care, we offer an inserter that comes with a focal light for easier insertions. Using the same methods as before, you will lower your head to the inserter while focusing on the light that is shining through the center of the lens. Similar to using the DMV inserter, you will place the contact on top of the applicator. Fill the bowl with your saline solution and use your preferred grip to hold open your eyelid. When ready, bring your head down to the inserter while focusing on the light that is shining through the lens. 
Removing your contact can be done with your fingers or with a plunger. Place your fingers at the eyelid margins right next to your eyelashes and push on the top and bottom lid to break the seal between the contact and your eye. Let the lens fall out and down. Specialty or scleral contacts can also be removed with a plunger cup. Just note that the inserters and removers are different shapes and either can be provided at any of our offices. Once your contacts are removed, they need to be cleaned to avoid any buildup of protein or debris. Place your contact in the palm of your hand and use three to four drops of the saline or cleaning solution prescribed by your doctor. Gently roll the contact in the palm of your hand and make sure it is fully saturated in the solution. Always give your contact lenses and your contact case a rinse with your saline solution and make sure that you are using fresh solution every time you store your contacts. This step is so important to stop the growth of any bacteria inside of the case or on the lens. Congratulations on your new contacts! By following the tips in this video, we're certain you'll have a comfortable contact wearing experience. Remember our doctors and staff are always here to help if you need us.